Let me rekindle your faith with these short words. Don't be afraid of them. For you are not alone. In you sits a man that the Lord has made to succeed in this world. In you, sit a man that the Lord has developed, knowing that even if he may come across any challenge, he will never give up. In you, there is a new power. You are carrying authority. And through such, the word of God to Jeremiah is saying, Get up and prepare for action. What action is this? Are you going to fight? No. No. The Lord shall fight for you. Your duty is to celebrate victory. Jesus. Are you sick? Stop talking much about your sickness. The Lord is your defense. Speak more of Him. Give testimony even before you are healed. Give testimony even before you are promoted. Give testimony even before you get married. Give testimony. Give testimony. Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to the young man. David, when he came across Goliath, he doesn't speak of how big he was. He doesn't speak of his armory. But he says to him, Let me tell you something that you may not be aware of. I am coming against you in the name of the Lord of the heavens armies who give me power to kill both lions when they were about to be thrown in the furnace they speak words of victory. They say to King Nebuchadnezzar, We are not afraid of anything. You can make your fire to be as scorchy as possible, but we are not afraid of anything. My Jesus, my Lord, my Savior. Listen to this. The three men were about to be thrown into fire. And the Bible says that was not just ordinary fire. It was made seven times powerful to a point that even the soldiers who were carrying them into the they died outside. But something miraculous happened. Those who were put inside they did not die, they did not bed, not their hair, not their clothes, nothing. Listen to this. Don't be afraid. For you are not alone. There's something I like about my God. The soldiers died. But God allows King Nebuchadnezzar to come closer. What is this? Your enemies shall come closer to you. Don't be afraid of their proximities. Don't be afraid of their closeness to you. It is for a purpose. That is why in my church, we don't cast our enemies. We don't speak 
Because we want them to see our God and feel his power and consequently bowing to his authority.